All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mud Runner. Let's go. Yo, Port, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Glad you finally, you finally found the stream. It's awesome, man. All right, so today we're going to tackle the downhill. Blind playthrough. Just going to jump in here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just going to jump in here and, and just do it, and we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. So <clears throat> essentially this is what's going to be on the plate today. Um, I did submit an inquiry to the developer of hooded or developer of manor Lords to see if I could potentially get a key for, for that game. I doubt I will to be quite honest, but um, I think you have to be pretty high profile, but Hey, we're, we're trying to keep our hopes up. So coffee is ready. I'm literally having it in my hand about to take a, take a sip here after the sentence. And it is too hot. What's up, SD1? Welcome in. Good to see you, man. So we have the Adega mod installed. Thank you for SD1 and Max Power. Good friends of mine. Also content creators. Great guys. They've helped me out a lot along the way. So they highly encouraged I use this Adega mod. And uh, yeah, <laughs> after poking me <laughs> enough, um, I decided I wasn't going to play any more maps until I actually put this mod on it just makes things look a lot better so yeah so hopefully yeah hopefully things are gonna look a lot better especially the mud when it actually like interacts with the, the tires and stuff cyrax welcome in as well good to see a horn cat what's up man there's no music yeah you see the heavy metal yeah <laughs> yeah all right, so here's here's the trucks I'm picking for the downhill. Um, I, I really want to play this truck, actually. So I do like this one a lot, so I'm actually going to play it. I could use... I think I switched up the Scouts. Actually, I, I think I might take this one instead. Yeah, we'll take this one. I haven't never played this one, so we'll take this one. I'm not going to play the American trucks right now, um, even though I could. I'm not even going to play this forwarder. I know it's just going to mash the game apart, so... Uh, I just decided, I mean, even these three star trucks are pretty strong, man. Um, I was deciding whether or not to use the, the 4310 or the 6511 or 65111. And, uh, yeah, that's a floater float type tires. Oh, does it really? Wow. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, I, I was going to use these these two trucks here as well. I I've pl I think I've played them already. I might not have played the 43-2010 as much. But yeah, I think I'm just going to roll. We're going to roll out with, with what we got for now. Um, I, could, I mean, I kind of want to play this truck too as well. But we did play this one before, so yeah. The blue scout has floater tires. We're gonna try. We're gonna test it out here. Okay, so um, here it is. I'm just gonna jump right in. This is the downhill. Wow, I start with a I start with a garage trailer. Wow. Okay. There's a scout sitting here. That's good. Blockage is open. The garage is there. Is there a garage down here too? The Kamaz cannot haul long logs. That's okay. That's all right. I'm not. I'm not too worried about it right now. Um. So what I what I think I want. Oh, nice. There's a B131. Okay, that's good. That's good because I actually might. I might actually uh. Use that truck. Okay. Um. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do so far. I'm gonna just go scout real quick. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna go scout. I think. So, I'm going to go unlock some of these watchtowers, um, these watch points, log stations, etc. And then, and then I'll just, yeah, quickly go unlock the garage, and then we'll start cracking. I, I think that's pretty much one of the best moves to do. 
So let's just let's just get going. All right, guys, here we go downhill. Nice looking tires too. B one thirty one is a step in terms of SR smaller than the six by six, but more efficient. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we might. I think we're gonna use the, that, that truck here too as well. You can tell the mud looks much, much better. Looks this this mod makes it look much, much better, guys. I was playing around with it the other day. After I downloaded actually yesterday when I downloaded it finally. After uh <laughs> SD1 and Max Power had to kind of really persuade me there. So I'm I'm really glad they did. Thank you guys for that. Are we going to see more elevation on this map? I'm not sure. I have no clue, honestly. This is all a blind playthrough rain, so I've never played this map before. Oh, I guess I just gotta keep it in. Um, I think I'm just gonna stay on the road, I guess. Even though this road is pretty terrible. <laughs> the name Downhill, that's my guess? Yeah, I kind of guessed that too. But we'll see. For some reason, I think the Scout doesn't perform as good as the other one for some reason. Maybe I'm just wheel spinning too much. Yeah, this, this, this mod does look so much better. Okay, can I get to some, some better areas here? <clears throat> okay. A little bit better, but I have to slow down because I need to look at this watch point. Okay, let's go straight. I'll make this left. I, I probably could cut through. Yeah, it did, yeah. I feel like the wheel spin is just too high, probably. So if if what I think if we all what we know about tires that float, they tend to wheel spin a lot. They tend to just go through thick terrain, but just at a slower speed. I think that's what's probably occurring here is a little bit of that. Let's see if I can actually get, get some speed here. Uh, okay, just keep on rolling. I'm not really in a hurry, so I'm just gonna cruise, guys. Just gonna cruise. Yeah, you can see as soon as I hit mud, it just kind of slows down. Uh, lots of pumpkins. Where's that tower? It's over to the right. Wow, you can kind of tell. I feel as though this scout struggles a little bit more than the other one. Okay, that's the watch point, I think. Yeah. Let's go. This and the K5 Blazer have these... These type of fat tires. Okay. So the Blazer does. I mean, worst case scenario, I can always switch to the other Scout. Because they, they gave me another Scout, so... The Ford Scout is more closer than the to the green UA UAZ. Okay, that's probably what I'll use then. It's like the Ford Scout. You can tell this stuff is thick. It doesn't look thick, but it's. I definitely can't switch out. Okay, cool. That's revealed. Um, 
Yo, there's a lot of... <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay, so we're actually going to go up through here. I'm going to try to come down to this watch point. Somehow. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll come back this way and grab both of these trucks. I think that's pretty much the move here. Okay, nice. I can get some more speed. This is good. This is good. It's all rock face. Stuff. Lots of rocks. Lots of rocks. Not... Let's not get high-centered here. <clears throat> wow. Yo, what is this, dude? This is a crazy area. Oh! <gasps> and I just lost it. And I just lost it. Oh, no. That's not what I want. Well... I guess we're gonna change plans here. <laughs> guess we're just gonna go to the. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go to the garage and just recall it. I guess that's that's what we're gonna do. So what I think about the MR truck so far, I like them a lot actually. Yeah, I do. I like them a lot. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're, I'm gonna take it to the garage and then we'll, we'll just recall him. Um, and then I'll continue scouting so that's just good to know though I can recall scouts yeah this is four garage slots I believe I think this blockage is open too so I can get there Yeah, I do like the trucks in, in Mudrunner a lot, actually. I think they're they're pretty good. They feel they feel good. I mean, realistically, like I was supposed to tip there. I mean, I'm driving over boulders, so I was kind of being, I would say, a little bit careless. This is definitely downhill. Yeah, the add-ons do fit them pretty pretty good. Yeah, what's up, Victor? Welcome in. What do I think the Western Star 47X crane? What do you mean? Talking about the NF 1424 getting a crane and a flatbed. Did they put a crane with a low saddle on it, or was it just crane with low with, with a small bed? Well, if that happened, there's been a certain person that's been crying about it for forever, so. Yeah, there was a new update. Yeah, I kind of see a little bit of the updates. I think they, they, they updated a few trucks, I think. Works, works with low saddle if I'm wrong. Nice. Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, there was definitely someone crying about it for months upon end. So they finally just... That's the thing, man. The squeaky, squeaky wheel gets the grease. So... You're not a fan of those trucks? I love the Western Star trucks. I'm an absolute fan. I'm gonna go just uncover this real quick. 
Might as well just uncover this. Um, however, I don't know, because it, it, it's a slippery slope, man. It's like, okay, so you're giving that truck that, and then I don't understand. I don't know. But good, good for the person who uh, <laughs> who bugged them to get it, I guess. So. Ah, look at this. How do I recall? Uh, how do I hold to change or zoom? Oh, there we go. Recovered the garage. There we go. What's up, district? Welcome in. Yeah. So. Oh. They put me back there? Because that's the closest garage, I guess. Okay. Okay. I got it. You don't like me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drive all the way down here. We'll go to this watch point. You don't like the DLC ones, really? I love the DLC trucks. Yeah, you probably should cry harder, honestly. I think uh, that's, that's kind of like the move, man, is, is everyone you just you just cry about getting an add-on, and then uh, so they do. They just they decide to add. They just add it for you, you know. They need to add the 6900 6, XD. Is what I'm thinking, <clears throat> honestly. From this game, they need to bring it back. It's kind of what I thought they should have done a long time ago. But I mean, here's the thing. Even even with the uh, the 49, the NF 1424 getting that crane with low saddle, it still doesn't make me like it more than the 1430. If that makes sense. Yeah, if that makes sense. I don't know. I still think the 1430 is better performance. I'd rather take the 1430 just because it's uh it's more stable too as well. Yeah, the PTS did get an update, yeah. I think that was, I, I forget when that was. But they, they further buffed the the balance of the, the Phoenix. Honestly, like, I was thinking about covering it, like, on the, on a video, but I was like, you know what? I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> Things are just too much ever-changing to just... I mean, yeah, that's cool that it got a it got a crane in a, in a low saddle configuration. But I mean, but then again, what about some other trucks? I guess I don't know. Yellow and blue crane just don't fit. Yeah, I think they could. They could add some. I would love. I would love to see the sixty nine hundred XD. I think that that's a good, that's a good, uh, it'd be a good fit. I think we all can agree. I don't know. I've never played the 6900 XD on this, on this, on this one, but I'm guessing it's pretty good. <clears throat> but yeah, well, they, I, I honestly, I need to check the new, the new updates on, on the, uh, what's it called on the Atom, but I'm pretty sure they further reduced its center of gravity from its cab so that means it's probably like even better as of level of balance no well maybe i don't know it depends on how how much you cry i don't say it depends it depends man but i think it's just sad there's so many other trucks that need that need balanced or, or just need that need some type of like legitimate love and the 40 the 1424 was not one of them like it really it really wasn't one of them like 
so there's so many trucks, dude. There's so many. The saddle looks weird in the atom. It does look very weird. Honestly, I don't think it's I don't think saddle low is a good is a good move for that truck. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird I'm saying that actually. Even though I probably would use it now because the truck is probably so so crazily stable from the from the last two I mean you know, SD1 has tested it. I've tested it from its previous version, from its first update change. The the balance was just uh I don't want to say superb, but it's in a much better place. And if they further decrease the uh, the center of gravity of the cab, which is the main, pretty much the main factor of your, your tip, right? Your your weights up top. If they decrease the center of gravity of its cab further, then yeah, then you just you make it that much more stable. Okay, let's continue. No, the saddle shouldn't be on the atom. If it, if it was the the shorter version, the shorter frame Kamaz, maybe. But no, I don't think it should be a low saddle truck. Instead, they gave some priority and some weirdo. I don't honestly. I I was a I I was hoping for like a a good. I, I want a good six by six Kamaz. That's what I want. Yeah, shorter frames need saddles. Yes, absolutely, bro. Absolutely. 100% agree. I know, we don't need any more three-slot trucks. I think... Yeah. Yes, they are. They're all short-framed. I like it, though. Actually, you know what? I really like this map. Now that now that we're talking about like MR and and like trucks and stuff, I'm actually really liking this map a lot. There's a lot of like topography, a lot of a lot of these rocks here that I'm I can definitely tip myself over on pretty easily. I feel as though this scout here is not as good as the green one. If that, I don't know. I, I don't. Ooh, the D535. Let's go. Let's go over there and check him out real quick. Which way is that? Just straight back and then to the left. <clears throat> I think short frame does, yeah. I can tell you this, like I went off roading with a with a Jeep 4x4. It was a CJ. No, no, it was a CJ. It was a. I forget. It was a short. It was a two door Jeep Wrangler, all wheel drive or four wheel drive, right? Uh, two door stick shift. And then our friends brought a automatic four-door Jeep and legitimately they got, we had to pull them out multiple times. Like, and they actually flipped themselves over. What's up, dude? Welcome to the party. You love canyons from spin tires? I, I've never seen it. Most of these are military trucks, yeah. The real replica of counter... Or, yeah, the real replica of real life counterparts, yeah. Sorry, I had to take a little sip there. Okay, nice. Well, we know what this is, so... Got it. Good to go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, do I want to cross? Maybe I'll come up this way and see what's up here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe I could. I'll try some some big logs with uh, with that truck right there. Oh, nice! A fuel station right by where we found him. That's great. Yeah, maybe I'll try the D five three five, the old the old snow runner, old snow runner truck there, six oh five R ish. Yeah, we'll try him then. You know what's really gonna be interesting is I hear I hear a lot of people talk about deluge and I uh, it's 
gonna be very interesting. Everyone says it's just a big bog. So, um, yeah, we'll probably pull the struggle bus there and struggle it out, fail a lot, and we'll have fun. You'd love to see an SR? Oh man, if, if we did, could you imagine how many people would cry though? I want to know how many people actually enjoyed Deluge. It's all about the routes. Oh, I bet, dude. Oh, this is great, dude. This this mod makes this really great back here. Um, watch point to my left. I almost missed it. It's all about S. It's about like SR. Certain trucks will trivialize it. Closest map to Deluge we have is Cola. It's not bad if you have a good truck and you know the routes. Okay. So basically, like the three star trucks can handle it. Is that kind of what I'm getting? Like the three stars can kind of can kind of handle Deluge if you play it right. to keep the default trucks for deluge i love it it's different from okay wait you mean like default like the ones they give you or could i just pick like the regular ones i use um, wow okay all right well looks deep but nice uh okay Okay, so the ones they gave us. Okay, sweet. Okay, we're gonna go with the current here. Kind of with the current so we don't flip over. Nice, not bad. I probably could have slowed my wheel spin down a little bit there. We survived. Let's go. Oh, dang, that hurt. Not good. That one hurt too. Stop hurting me. Do you really want to? Wow, you know what's crazy is a lot of trucks would just straight up a high center there. And it did not. That's awesome. I like it. Okay, uh, I don't know where to go, but we'll follow this road for now. And then we'll just try to cut over. I'm guessing. Do you really want to make me cry? Nope. Feels like it. Definitely feels like the can. I might take a shortcut right here now that and you say something. Uh, maybe not there. That's too steep of a way. Too steep. I feel like I'll just get myself in trouble right there. go through the woods. Oh, 
Ooh, stumps. Uh, watch points there. Oh, there. Oh, it's that close. Wow. Okay. What am I doing? Trophy raid. I explored the downhill. Um, I still need to go to discover these trucks, so I, I gotta go do that. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. I just have to uh, figure out. We're gonna cut through. I'm gonna try to cut through all the way up to here, and then and then I guess we're gonna try to take this little cross route, and then get to these guys. And I think that's all the, pretty much all the trucks. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to start getting some, some lo logs going, I guess. Uh, wait, I need to go through. Yep. Wait, what was that? Oh, stumpy. Stumpalicious. Not good. Did I have any trouble understanding what to do in this game? Um, I think a little bit because there's, they don't really hold your hand on like, you know, there's no mission at the top of your screen. Um, I mean, I think I had people in the chat that kind of like helped me along the first episode, but I think after about 30 minutes, I kind of understood. I think the, the hardest thing for me was just getting used to um, manipulating the gearbox with the controller. And then, yeah, that's about, that's pretty much about it. Other than that, it feels pretty good. Touch the stumps with your tires, they'll get destroyed, really? Wow. If you read the, the hints, it gives you a uh, direction, okay. Yeah, I don't read the hints, I don't, I guess like, uh, I guess I don't read much, to be honest. Which I probably shouldn't a little bit more, huh? Wait, was I in park there? That's another thing that happens as I actually put myself in park. Oh, you can squeeze. Yes, you can squeeze. Don't play with me, dude. Let's go. Don't mess around with me. We're doing this. We're doing this. For better or worse, my man. Alright, here we go. Oh no. Am I gonna get sucked away here? No. Are you kidding? Okay, we're gonna go with her in a little bit here. So I, I, I don't think I can fight the current right now. made it not bad what's up rookie yeah, let's go discover these last two yeah I think I think the manipulation of the gearbox and snow runner is much more easy for me just because I activate I activate the clutch with like pressing down on r3 and then I manipulate the gear setting with like the D-pad. 
But the thing is, on this game, it's not so. Like, I'm actually switching gears with... Um... R3. Or the right stick. Nice. He has a medium log attachment. It's actually a pretty good truck too, actually. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, let's see here. Lumber mill, log station, Lambo meal. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try this out, guys. I'm gonna listen to SD1 here. I wonder if I can I recover this to the garage. Let's do it. We're gonna try it. I haven't done anything with this truck ever on this, so. You know it's gonna be super easy, just saying. Three points, four points, it's seven. I need eight. What? Dude, are you serious though? Log carriage is three. E trucks can do eight, really? Can they? So it would be medium, right? So this is that's seven. Am I missing something? What's the configuration then? Yeah, what's the configuration for this then? Shorties. So shorty, there's there's eight. There's Yeah, so if I'm carrying all my on my frame and log, that's seven, looks like. Unless I'm missing something, which could be a very Yeah. Better go with six or three. And rest with a different truck. Okay. I might just go... This. Honestly, I might just go with this for now. What's up, Miles? Welcome in. Uh... Yikes. You know what I did not do? I didn't set up any fuel. Any any, any fuel at all. Uh, this is kind of kind of rough. I, I might be able to get to the fuel station. I, I might be able to. I think I can actually, so I can go this way, here, here, hit the switch back, down this way, fuel station, log station, and then lumber mill. I can do this lumber mill probably quitty, pretty quick here. Yeah, I'll just go this way. And then we'll hit this way. I'm guessing I can get across here. And hit the log station. And then, yeah, lumber mill. Back to the fuel station, log station. You know, I actually might take a trailer. Because instead of doing this in two, I'll just abandon. You know what? Wow, dude. I can, I can pull a fuel trailer behind me. This might be, this might be the move. Wait a second, I got an idea. I have, a, I have an idea. Oh no. I can't do it. I was gonna put like a fuel attachment. This only carries garage parts, okay. There we go. All right, cool, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yes, this is, uh, this looks like, this basically is like the 605R. Wow, the fuel.
fuel consumption. You never played Mud Mudrunner? Uh, this is my first time, man. This is my first time as well. My first time as well. Okay, this thing is a beast, dude. Where's its actual lights here, though? It's okay. No, this is not a cola. This is the 605R. So the 605R in Mud Runner and, and Snow Runner is the Z is right here. This is basically the Mud Runner version, or basically the version before Snow Runner. You can tell the mud looks so much better. D535, the 537 is the 6605R. They do look very similar. They really do. Very, very similar. You need to, you need to pick out which sounds support over. Wait, which sounds for what? Which one? Mastodon sound in Mudrunner is 100 times better. I prefer that SR sound for this truck. I kind of like the SR sound for this truck too, actually, Dave. Welcome in, by the way. Eye drops, welcome in too. Hulk, welcome in. Yeah, this is. So this has a mod on it, guys, right now. So the Adega mod is attached. So the mud, like everything, just kind of looks a little bit better. I'm guessing I'm gonna get some speed because this is called the downhill. In your in your opinion, the best sounds is, is from spin tires. Ooh. Do you think we will see an EV this year? What do you mean an EV? Explain yourself. I finally installed the graphic mod, yes. Yes, Victor. It is it is installed and alive. Whoa. It's the Adega Mod 5.4. Electric? I hope not. Honestly, eye drops. I don't think we need electric. This game is about rolling coal, man. And plus it's like it's based upon like older trucks. A lot of like older modeled trucks, so it kinda like I think adding like a futuristic, like very new style type truck would kind of, I don't know, just my, my humble opinion, but I doubt we'll get an EV. How much is Mudrunner? It's pretty cheap. If you do download this game, I recommend getting it for PC, and then I recommend putting the Adega mod on it, which basically just makes things look better. Why not dig a mud 7.5? I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not sure. I just went with whatever SD1 and uh, the max power told me to put on. But I am absolutely satisfied. Probably can just smash this up to gears. Daytime approaches.
Am I seeing glowing flowers? I don't think so yet. Maybe I haven't been looking though. Yeah, I probably just haven't been looking. Dude, this looks good. It's hard. Honestly, I wish I could show. I wish I could stream in like 1440 right now and just show. I feel like the detail is just so good. It means glowing flowers at night. This monster, dude. It looks like its suspension is like independent up front. In the back, I can see the rocker. No, this truck doesn't care. Huh. This truck does not care. Okay. Alright, um... So in hard mode, fuel consumption's almost double. Phew. That, that doesn't sound good. Oh, you know what? I think I can creep out here. I think I can creep out through here. And maybe, like, pull back through here. And then kind of, like, hit this road and probably go through, I'm guessing. Through. Let's try that. Yeah, let's do that. It sounds a lot better. If I can hit, if I can pull this off. What do you need to do in Mudrunner? You basically deliver, you open up the garage, you scout, you find trucks, and you deliver logs. Pretty much. Oh, that's where I turn. Nice, Nate. Just forgetting where you're going. Yeah, 600 liters. It does kind of balance itself out, doesn't it? Logs are your favorite cargo? So basically it's a logging game? I would probably say more so, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably say so. The Mastodon has 800 liters? Wow, man. That is a lot of fuel. You know what? Get to take a picture of this. I got to. I just have to, guys. Well, we will. I'll take a picture over here in a second. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. It can still empty that tank out in one round of logging? Wow. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, let me actually put this back on. Enter full screen mode. Native. Sorry, guys. I'm messing around here. What does the simulation quality actually do? I have no clue. Wow, dude. Let me see. I can try to look. SD1 probably knows. Simulation quality? CPU? I don't know. It looks... Honestly... I leave it up just because, honestly, it's not... It's not really even touching my CPU. Or, or like, any type of... 
processing. This game doesn't really take much to to run on my on my computer. Which I, which I like actually like cuz SnowRunner is a lot different. Um well, I mean What's up, Joe? Welcome in. Well, I actually uh I mean, I don't think making the game look better I just decided I wanted to like make it look better from a lot of folks what they were saying like SD1 max power like it just basically makes the the mud look better the trucks a little bit of surrounding area so and Mark can even run on a potato PC <laughs> that's good it's good for me and ate one liter of gasoline in one kilometer wow yeah, the clusters of mud are removed. It looks really good, honestly. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can bulldoze these stumps, but I don't know if I should. I almost feel like I should get back out to the road. You know, we're gonna do that. I don't wanna cut- I don't wanna mess with these stumps. I'm pretty sure I can just bulldoze them, but... The PTSD from, uh, from SnowRunner is still alive. Still alive and well. What's PTSD? <laughs> you can, but it's risky. If you touch the tires. It's when you play the PTS too much, yeah, exactly. Public test server. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay, so let's detach. Since I only need one point, I'm just gonna go back and grab these real quick. So, yeah. Alright, back we go. And then after this, we'll choose a different truck to do the other, the other log mill or the other lumber mill. Yeah. Wow. This thing is pretty comfortable in, uh, in third gear. Man, that thing flexes great too. Definitely a lot less rigid than the 605R. Very much so, a lot less rigid. Uh, I guess I'm, yeah, I'll just, just cross back over. And then, yeah, log station. You hope <laughs> RU trucks don't spoil because the US trucks aren't as capable even in this game. Yeah, I kind of thought so. I, I kind of expected, honestly. Yeah, I think I expected it to be that way. I mean, look at that frame. Look at it flex. Like, look at that. Look at the cab compared to the bed right now. Never. In a 605R, never. You'll never see that. The 605R is, is so stable. Don't get me wrong. It is, it is absolutely amazingly stable. Probably one of the more stable vehicles in the game, in my opinion. Very subjective, right? But, um, it does not flex like that. What am I stuck on? Probably could have went right through those trees. You know what? I see it. It is pretty stiff, man. 
it's noticeable. You drive the 605R, whenever you go fast, you can just notice, oh, there's like a path right there, right through the woods. I like that detail. Okay, let's not get stuck here. Let's not get caught up on this. Nice, okay. Okay, okay, nice. I like it. Oh, that's right, yeah, you did make a video of that. That's right, yeah, he did. You want to play MR? I would. I would definitely would. I think it's fun. I think it's a fun game to play. It, uh... I think if... I, I think, I don't know. For me personally, like, add-ons and all, like, the configurations, those stuff really don't... They don't really mean much to me, to be honest. After playing SnowRunner for so long, um... I look at, like, things... Like... Different details. Truck performance. You know, frame flex. All that all that stuff that goes on, like, when you're, when you're off-roading, so... Like, the, the whole, like, cargo variation, all that stuff. It's great for SnowRunner. I mean, we have that, but... This is a really good change of pace to play. Most of them are six by four highway trucks. Oh yeah, I did. I did notice that some of them don't have any all-wheel drive. This truck just doesn't care, dude. It seems like the six hundred five R. I guarantee the other one is. I don't know if the other one is better. I've heard the other one is better than this one. called the 7310. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee here while I just leave it in high gear. She goes wherever she wants, basically. Basically. It's true. Poundage is still poundage. I think it's just, uh, but that's a very good point, but it, how do I say this? While I think that's a very good point, a lot of people don't think that way. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people don't see that. They don't understand that. They just they they see variation, like what's different to what's different, what's pleasing to their eye, rather than looking just looking at raw gameplay. I do like that point though. It's a really good point. What's up, Doc? Welcome in. Let's go. Cue the music. Let's go. Look at that, dude. Like the detail, man. Like, like the rust. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it looks like it's been through. It's been through some stuff. This map is the best for achievement to fill the number lumber using only the B-130. Oh, okay. So, you know what I might do now? I wonder if I should use the 131. Just to try. I like this truck. I'm not gonna lie, I like this truck. I like this truck a lot. No, this is not a Tega. This is actually more of a step. A step truck. I'm pretty sure it's more in line of like a step log kiosk so lumber mill I probably can go man that's a uh, I wonder I wonder if I should go to this log kiosk actually but 
first off, I want to do something. Fireproof exhaust, okay. Fireproof exhaust. Yeah, an SR would be sick. Okay, so I'm gonna do something here. This might be, oh, you know what? This is actually, this is different. The block post, this is gonna be not fun, but here's the bypass right here. Here's the bypass to get around that. So, I'm actually gonna go use, I'm gonna go to this fuel station here. I'm gonna put this fuel station kind of like right, probably by this um, cut through. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna put it there, yeah. So then, when I run through the lumber mill and I run back, I can fuel up like at the halfway point. So maybe what I'll do is, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Log station is auto and manual. Log kiosk is the main, okay. Just so, I'm gonna do this just so I don't have to like divert so much to go to a fuel station. Just so it's pretty much basically just uh, back and forth, back and forth, go, go, go. Whoa. Whoa, that was crazy. I was actually going fast there. Crazy, this thing can actually get up to fifth gear right now. You tried manually loading logs? It's actually fun, nice. I think after this I want to test because I know some trucks actually roll out to center after you let go of the, the stick. And I think it's like one of the Kamal's trucks actually. What? Okay. Did it, did it fix the upload particles? Um, I don't know. What do you mean, what particles? Look like squares. Oh, I, I don't know, maybe. I don't know if I noticed those too much. That's pretty cool that they're low heights. So it actually can reach those. I like that. So we're gonna go to like the halfway point real quick. So I can uh Maybe this will be just the halfway point. No. Okay, I know where the halfway point is. It's gonna be like here. Yeah, it's gonna be like in here ish. Probably, I'll probably put the halfway point like here. I think it's a pretty good halfway point. Yeah. What's up, Dennisine? Welcome in, man. Good to see you. Yeah, it's uh, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. We're playing a little bit of Mud Runner right now. 
downhill. I'm actually really enjoying this map. So MR has the K700 Alpha, which is the different variant than the than SR's K700. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah, this is going to be a very good bypass. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful bypass. Beautiful shortcut. Um, SD, I did see a video of yours when you were talking about how to get through um, block blockages with logs. How you crane them over top. I thought that was awesome, by the way. I thought that was so cool. Okay, I think this is good enough. This is actually good enough. So wait, is it this is it this this truck that does it? Let me see if it's this one that does it. Yeah, look. Check it out. This one recenters. Watch watch when I have to throw on the turn. I'll throw on the turn right here and I'll watch. I'll let go. I'll watch I'll let go. One, two, three, let go. See how it recenters? Some trucks recenter their steering, some don't. I don't know why that is. But I noticed that the other day. It is ancient, man, but it's crazy that I'm getting videos. I'm getting like recommendations for old your old videos. So when you unload logs, let me turn this engine off here. Okay, never mind. I'm not burning anything. It's cool. So when you unload logs, the garage or garage trailers, they disappear flying squares. I think there must be dust or smoke effects. I think it, I think it did change it. So your theory is modern trucks do, while old cannot. So it could be, was it like a power steering thing? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if they had power steering back then. Uh, okay, um, yikes. I might actually try to take this. But then again. Try that. They do recenter just a lot more slowly. Oh yeah, look at this monster. This monstrosity. Yeah, this one takes a while to recenter. This is what we're talking about, man. This is this is gameplay right here. Yeah, you do respect them. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying, man. I feel there. I feel like each truck feels very unique. It does. It kind of feels unique. Yikes! Let's get out of this. For a Degamon is the 5.7 version. I'm pretty sure I have 5.4. That's the one that. That's what I have. I don't know. But yeah, you can. SD1 will probably know about that a little bit more than I would. I just took the recommendation from him and Max Power and just. Yeah. Geometry of steering that's center steering without power steering. Okay. I get the high gear. Let's go. Let's go. Wasn't the name different though? Wasn't there like a, a like AT? ATD EGA or something like that? And the other mod is just like A. D E G A. Oh, yeah, this is the right way to go. 
frogs. What's up, SP Low? Welcome in. Both of the same creator changed the name for some reason? Okay. I wonder why. This truck is actually really good, really efficient. It's actually a really nice. I probably could have made this whole run on this tank of gas. At least one, one run there and back. It's a hard mode truck. Honestly, you're probably, yeah. This is probably a good truck to use on hard mode, right? It's capable, it's efficient. But it needs support from crane trucks. Oh, because it can't crane, yeah. I heard the frogs back there. I know the the mod actually like gives like frog sounds, the marshes and stuff like that. Oh, the crickets? Maybe that I do. Maybe I do hear those. I don't know. Maybe I do. Yeah, I think I might. I might do. I think I do. Okay, let's put these on here. Do this guys let's do this okay um here up to here up there this blockage is going to be closed so what we'll do is go up here cross to here <laughs> go around all this and then here, and that's pretty much the route. Let's do it. Uh, let's back up. Please tell me not the, not what I think this is going to be. Okay. Like, doesn't this just feel accurate? Like, you would not be pulling these logs. Like, usually in, like, SnowRunner, I'm immediately shifting into high gear. Like, as soon as I hit second, high gear, boom. And I take off. Like this? Yeah, you can't, you just can't do that. Just not, not a thing. Let's see, I can probably get this going here. No, can I? Let's see if I can get high gear. Very nice, I did. No, you can't do arcade stuff. That's why I like it. I kind of like them too, actually. Wow, this is definitely going to be a, a hill climb here. Like, I can feel the truck working hard right now. Like, you legitimately can feel it. Like, it's it's working hard. Like, you, it just, in SnowRunner, like, we just fly up hills like this. But like, real life, you know, you would not do this. Dude, I'm 
I'm struggling. Tire sweep the action. Tire sweeping. Tire sweeping. Grab some new terrain. Tire sweep. How much can I do? Or have to winch myself. That's tough. That's a tough route, dude. I don't I don't know if I might go this way next time. That is a very, very tough route. Oh yeah, I just sunk. I just sunk down. was that? Very tough route. No, not there. You, you, I, honestly, like you, you would legitimately in real life have trouble on this hill with this load, this these conditions, and I, I like that. I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate that. That was cool. Yeah, it does, especially when you play with a steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It definitely doesn't feel like a, like a C a C two sixty. I feel like uh, I definitely respect it. That was a pretty good job. That was a pretty good job pulling that. Come on, baby. Get me out of the rut. Okay, I think I go, yeah, yeah, this way. Around the swamp. I know MR has cruise control too. Wait, where's the cruise control setting? I heard about this. Hold for cruise control. I think, I think that's right. Make the right hand turn here. 
I'm gonna go straight. Oh, I see. Hold on a second. Okay, it's in cruise right now. But I still can manipulate my my gears. Like right now, I have the like the, the gearbox is like activated. It's kind of kind of weird. Caught up in here. Ow. Dude, what are you doing? Gotta make it to my, my fuel station. My fuel stop. This is tough. It's no joke. Alright, I want to know, <clears throat> who finds this, this boring? Who finds this, like, boring? I just want to know. I mean, no shame if you do. I just feel that it's very, Im I, I'm very immersed in this gameplay right now. It's hard, how do I say this, watching it because it's so slow, it probably doesn't look very exciting and I understand that as a viewer. But I do feel I'm paying much more attention to my truck. Imagine, you imagine anyone who found it boring wouldn't be here? Mal's found it boring? You've been dying for me to play this game? I'm, I'm glad I, I'm trying it right now. Let's just go down in here. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's navigate this. I've been avoiding it. This is bloody lovely. Nice. If you, if you found it boring, it's okay though. It doesn't matter. Everyone's allowed to have an opinion. You're just worried because it's nighttime in the woods. <laughs> Trucking is for the second monitor anyway. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Now we're on the road. I did notice the trailer coupling wires. Yeah, I did notice that. I like how they are like hanging. They're like hanging down when the trailer is like empty. And then, then we're, when they're on, they're like kind of secure. Oh. I probably should have had this in high gear before I even started this pit. You know what's going to be really hard is getting up that hill to that switchback. I didn't really think about this, and I didn't give this a lot of thought, but I think it's going to be pretty tough. Now, 
guys. High gear engaged. Let's go. Push, baby. Push. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, now I gotta slow it down because I don't want to take a bunch of damage going down these rocks. I probably still will, but it's alright. This map is awesome, man. I hope so too, SD. I hope so. I hope so too. fill this up. Alright, onward. This is great. I'm actually going to just go right down through this whole stream. What's the time in my state? It is 9.37 right now. I'm on Eastern Standard Time. Look at that uphill. This is going to be... Am I even going to make it? Oh, no. Am I... Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to make that. I don't actually think I'm going to make that. Uh, you know what I could do? I have an idea. I don't think I make that hill. I actually think I need to do this. Is I think I can I can like scrape alongside here and then maybe shoot myself up through here. I think there's a spot. That's what we're going to do. I think that's probably the best case scenario for me right now. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try. Yeah, I think the breakable rocks are definitely cool. They're definitely a really cool feature. Ooh. Okay, let's see if I can we can do this. The time approaches. Up farther. Yep, up farther. Wait, that's where the block, that's where the post is. Is it really that close? Is it really that close? Really? Hold on a second here. I think I can sneak by right here. I think I can sneak by. Can I sneak by? I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. No, I don't think we do. Um, yikes. Wait. Maybe I can. I'm trying to think here. 
Is there a better line? I think I see a better line. Yeah, I do. I do see a better line. The guard can see you? Yeah, I know, right? He's like, what are you doing? I see you, dude. Okay. Um, so like this. Let's reverse out of here. I think I see a way, actually. It's this way. Tell me there's not a rail. I hope there's not a rail. If there's a rail, I'm done. I think I can see a rail. This is not good. I think I can. But maybe, just maybe, I can do something here. We're gonna try to do something. I doubt this is gonna work. Let's just do it. Let's just go straight. I don't know. We'll find it. If I can't find it, I'm, I'm just gonna have to just uh, find something else to do. <laughs> I think there's a rail. There is a rail. Shoot. Not good. There's a rail. Yikes, dude. Okay, um... I'm gonna go do some scouting real quick. I did, you're gonna tell me I did all that work? All that work. Is there any good mods for SR? No, this is not SR, sir. Yeah, you're right. You are right. We are in trouble. That's where I had I would have to come through. That's where I have to come through. Right there. By the by the gate. Unless Can I see my truck? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Yeah, unless... Okay, that, that makes sense. You can park it? Really? Can you? Okay, you know what we're gonna do? I think... Okay. Let's do something here. You know, I really can't see a lot of things, actually. So it's kind of it's kind of hard. 
kind of tough right now. Okay, let's do this. Attach a winch. I wonder if I can get a winch like set up somewhere to pull me out. Yeah, there we go. Yes, let's do that. Okay, now it needs to be pulling to my left. That works. Yeah, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's go back. Go back. Let's go back. We're gonna creep back. We're gonna creep back a little bit. Okay, now, release. I'm going to try something here, guys. We're going to try something here. Might not be the smartest thing. Um, but I think I can do it. Let's just go like this. Let's go auto. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna go like this. Okay. I'm gonna back up. Let's go like this. Okay. Um. I got an idea. Winch. From here. There. Let's go. Yo. Gatekeeper. What is going on here? Uh-oh. What just happened? That was weird. That was weird. Wasn't that weird? We did it, guys. What do you guys think? No? Turn off all wheels. I don't need all wheels right now. I just robbed the Tolman. Oh, man. This is not good. Just ride it high gear right up the right up the hill. That's all. <laughs> Save the toll tax. I think it. Do you see it kind of like glitch out there for a second? What's up, Ace? Good morning. That was that was a little bit odd. Let's go. Let's go. Hold the hold the high gear. Oh, you want to get closer? You glitch out? Okay. That makes sense. Oh, especially when you have logs? Okay. The car was like, what are you doing? Bro, he probably had his AK out ready to just... That deserves a sip of coffee. On the next pool, we use a different truck. I'll take a different route. Unless you guys think I should take the same route again to kind of struggle bus it through. That was fun. I didn't think I would get through it. I really thought I was going to have to drop everything and just uh, go grab more logs.
I miss my turn? Wait, where am I at right now? What is going on? Oh, I'm supposed to go. Yikes. Um, I was supposed to go through here, but it's okay. I actually need to go. I probably could just slip through here, but I actually need to go like this. I need to go like this, actually. Through here, and then over, and then loop it. Yeah, pretty much. B-130? Is it the one that doesn't have all-wheel drive? Did I try the B-130? I don't know if I did. I probably could cut through the, the trees here. I think I can. And, uh, no, yeah, we're just going to continue. Oh, the crane? So basically you're like crane them over top the blockage? Oh yeah, I've seen that video. Yeah, I've seen that video when he's doing that. That is a good idea. Yikes, dude. I really can't get up there? Wow. Tricky, but it's doable. It is cool. It is doable. Come on, give me in high gear. Spool up. Let's go. No. Of this game upside down, I believe it. I believe it. This is a log contraband simulator now. Yeah, I don't know why they don't let you go through those blockages with logs. It's, it's weird. You do feel like you're doing something illegal. I don't know, maybe there's like a weight, a weight restriction or something. I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's something, I, I guess. Maybe they're with logs. It's like simulating there's like a weight restriction for that road or something like that. Or I don't know. I'm just brainstorming here. Oh, I can hear the music. gear and leave it. Okay. Oh, it, it does still have the square boxes. I could go down here and grab, lo grab logs, actually. Which I might actually do. Is just go through here, come down. I wonder if I can go through here back to the fuel station or actually we'll go like this this here there fuel station and then I'm guessing 
back to the log kiosk or the log station and then back to this route. Yeah. Blockages were added when Pavel was still in spin tires. Okay. the road. Well, that was that was fun. That was that was a little bit of a, a challenge there trying to make that shortcut work. Um, I don't know if that was worth it or not, but I kind of let you guys decide on that one. I don't think that was that was kind of tough. Um, I think so, District. I think I'm gonna do one map per stream. I'm not sure yet. I definitely know that Deluge is going to take, like, a whole stream, probably, or maybe even more. I mean, I'm expecting that to just, that, that map to just kill me, to be, to be honest. Yep, I'm just expecting that. Oh, uh, use the vertical lines? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna uh, be looking for a lot, actually. The only problem is, is when you're crossing, I guarantee when you're crossing, like you, you can't, well, actually, no, you can zoom in. That's right, you're right. You can zoom in and use the, the vertical lines, yeah. It's true. I forget what the next map is. As long as you get the area opened up, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. Have I done crossing? Yeah, I've done crossing. Yep, I think crossing was before this. a good old truck man this this truck is a good old truck i gotta say it it uh, it did the job pretty well let's go high gear This is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting trying to take logs up this hill. I'm not thinking about all this, but yeah, this is going to be very, very interesting. Maybe not too bad, actually.
B-130. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try him out. I think we will try him out. Let's get some fuel, go get some logs, and get this delivered. I gotta say, I think this was one of my favorite maps so far. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorites so far. This was really fun. Okay. Um. Log kiosk. So, I think I just need to flip around. And go like through here, and then boom, log station. Even so, trucks with all-wheel drive can get the job done. Really, that's 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 kind of nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna try the B third, the B one thirty out next next map, just to just to try it out. doesn't have the rocks <clears throat> well actually this map does have a lot of rocks I flipped over actually up here look at these look at these rock fields <laughs> these are all rocks no joke man there's it's kind of we it's weird I don't know not as like not like snow runner but the they flip over in MR yeah I have yeah I flipped over today once in the scout What's the flip counter? I, I don't have one. I need to get one, honestly. I probably should get one. Is this is this where I go across now? The scout doesn't count. Oh, I don't have any then. I haven't flipped I haven't flipped any big trucks yet. I say yet. Because it's probably still still to come is it pretty normal to flip over scouts is that kind of like the kind of like SR you know it's pretty pretty normal normal like moves pretty normal normal This map was the first time you ever flipped over in Map Runner, or, or I must said Map Runner, Mud Runner. Sorry. Yeah, you don't have the auto winch. No, you don't. That's that's very true. Uh, okay, I guess we're just gonna crawl, crawl slow. I guess. All right. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm gonna hug this so I can actually make this turn out of here. All right, cool. Let's do this. Um. You know what I kind of want to do? I want to do something different here. I want to come out here. I'm going to go th here. I'm going to go by this fuel station, across this gap, through here, up here. I want to do this switchback. Yeah, I want to do this switchback. And then we'll just like kind of plow along here, here. Take this path, this path, lumber mill. That's a pretty good run. Have you faced position your truck properly thing? Uh, yeah, I have, yeah. When going into logs? Or going into, yeah, the going to get logs, yeah, I have. I've seen that. It's happened to me a couple times, actually. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Shouldn't have even tried. 
You did all the logs on the south route? Yeah, I thought about doing the south route, but I want to take that switch back. I just want to try it. Do something different for each pool, I guess. But yeah, that south route's pretty pretty easy. Or actually, the south route probably isn't that easy. It's just... And then straight down, basically, right? There's probably a lot of hills, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that switch back is a lot of hills, too. <clears throat> Which, yeah, hills are definitely challenging in this. like three trucks really <laughs> oh no that's not good it's crazy man I've been getting so many comments about people just really enjoying that I'm playing Mudrunner. So it's actually, it's kind of really nice. Can I get, nope. Don't think I was going to get there. It's really nice to see. I didn't think there was, uh, I didn't think a lot of players in the, actually, you know what? I think probably more so like people who watch like SD1 District, me, I think probably are more so folks that really enjoy these type of games like they're not there's the simplicity of them but yet they're just amazing I can't believe it's taking me so long but hey here we are better late than never right when a D class gets drowned <laughs> Just let it go. It does have a great atmosphere. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. It's weird, man. Like, I can say from after playing this game, it's it's like it's like I can really feel that the series has kind of the speed of how do I say this? The, the speed of the game has definitely increased since these games, I guess. I haven't played spin tires, but I would guess it's pretty similar. But you, you can just tell the speed of the game is definitely sp sped up a lot in SnowRunner. Yeah, you definitely can feel it. You can, I mean, just by, I'm sitting here, most of my eye contact, or most like my eyes are looking at like the tires, the frame flex, and just the detail of, of the tires interacting with, with the surface is, is absolutely incredible. Like, it, it looks really good. Like I understand the graphics aren't as... as great as SnowRunner, but I, I do think the way the trucks look... are... I, honestly, man, like, I, I almost feel like they're on par. Like, they, they just look more gritty. They look like they've been in the field, <laughs> honestly. Pretty much, yeah. It is pretty much mutter. I mean, yeah. Some changes. Alright, here's that switchback. I don't know. Let's see if we can get up here. 
know what I should have done? I should have got a run. I should have got a nice little run for this and try to like spit high gear. Speedy gameplay is actually half of SR's problem, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. It is so speedy that I, I feel like there's a lot of things you just don't... You can't really appreciate when you're just speeding by all the time. I don't even have any winch points here, too. Hopefully this is not like... Oh man, we're working hard, too. Here come the boulders. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. You can see there's a winch point, too. No, dude. Oh my. Are, are we serious? We're gonna crawl over this? Let's go, my dude. <gasps> I need to back up, actually. Yep. I can see, I can see this already going wrong. I can see this already going in a way I don't want it to go. can't click winch I can't reach you huh I can reach you but I know that's tip city I know that's tip city hmm this is this is very odd I'm in a very odd predicament here but I have an idea I have an idea, actually. I got an idea. I don't know if I can pull this off, but I'm gonna try. Oh, we're gonna go. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I might get back to my wheels. Oh my goodness, look at this. I'm still rolling. I'm still rolling. <laughs> oh no. No, God! No! God, oh no. No! 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 You know what the funny thing was? Is I was. What I was gonna do is I was going to back up. Attach my my uh, left side to this tree and just kind of like Spider-Man myself. Too far! Um. God! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, what do I got to do now? This is uh, the worst! You ain't lying. Yes, it is. All right, um... Okay, Kamaz time. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds good. I'll just go up here to the garage. We'll retrofit this thing. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll do, pull this out. <laughs> okay. Alt F4. <laughs> What's up, Rob? Yeah, I think that was a judgment move right there. I should have went down. I should have attached my attached my side, went down, and then just held the winch and then pulled myself up. That's a tough spot, man. That's a tough spot to go through. 
Wow. <laughs> the flip counter is two. <laughs> they can. Honestly, I'm I'm actually impressed it held on for so long. It it really did. It held on for much longer than I thought it would. Why is it unavailable? Oh, sets installed. Okay, cool. Um, I need to get gas, so this kind of stinks. But I honestly have this. I'll just take some fuel out of him. Right hand turn. I'm going to use this to give myself some fuel, actually. Maybe I don't need fuel. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I can use this just to... I'll use this later. I don't need fuel right now. I can get fuel later. I can get fuel from here. It's fine, yeah. It's totally fine. Uh, no, let's go left, down. Fuel station, after the fuel station, here, here. There we go. I'll come back to him and I'll skip night, actually. Whenever we're hauling. Oh man, the flip. This this I love I love this truck in this game. This this is like my jam right here. Cab overs, they look so good in this game. Unreal. That car is almost a troll by the devs. <laughs> Pretty much. It kind of seems like it. Scout equivalent of the B-130. I don't think I'm at... Do I take that route again, guys? Do you guys think I should take another run at it? Or do you think we should just uh, call it quits and go around? Take another stab? We need redemption? Okay, I'll try it. The small log, sure. <laughs> Gosh. The loaf is actually good, yeah. Is this better than SnowRunner? Uh, Maker, I don't think so. I don't think it's better than SnowRunner. I think, I think it has a lot of things I appreciate better than SnowRunner for sure. I, I don't think it as like by large is better than SnowRunner, but I absolutely appreciate the value this game has. Good day to you, my man. Good to see you. I definitely think, um, I think it's just based on your perspective. Like what the things you enjoy about SnowRunner. I think if, uh, yeah, I think I think a lot of players that love to play the game fast in SnowRunner are probably not going to like this game very much. 
But for me, like, I take my time. I just enjoy it. That's true. That's a good one, yeah. It's a foundation, a strong one. Well, SR is more of a complete house, yeah. Basically, yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah, it's just slightly different. The gameplay is just different. <laughs> Pretty much only logging, I think. I, I, I'm not sure if American Wilds has has more than logging, though. I'm not sure. Um, why? Oh, I I see. This could be something we do with the logs, actually. Check this out. Oh, man. This actually might be even tougher than I thought. Bringing logs up here. I could do this. Wow. <gasps> no, don't tip over. Don't tip over. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that <laughs> Wow, man, the balance there. We can try it. We can try it. We'll try that route. How about that? We'll try it out. We gotta hurry up, though, because daylight is approaching, and I need to make the most of it. What's up, Nerga? Welcome in. We'll try it. This might be one of my favorite looking trucks in the game right now. I feel like the snorkel is higher on this or something that the air intake feels like it's higher. I don't know. It just feels that way. Okay, I'm gonna spin around and then I'll grab the log so we can just kind of like exit without having to do all these weird turns. has a high range gearbox oh, wait I think I saw that I think I did see that okay I need to actually straighten out for a second so I can actually get my logs in there we go The mud looks so much better with that mod. It just looks so much better. Like, there's no clumping. Like, the, the terrain deformation looks really good. Like, the mud is sticking to the wheels, but it's more like, like a dirt, almost. Like a mud. It just, like, kind of covers it. That's how you used to drive, front view, enjoying the terrain deformation. Yeah, I like I like this. I mean, even like the detail of the trucks just look great, man. I do have the graphics mod on. I have the uh, the Adega mod. It should be in the stream title. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Get gas, go through here. We are going to go up this. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, guys. I don't know. If we fail, we fail. I don't know, we're gonna try it. And then after that, it's basically, yeah, we'll go straight. Maybe we'll hit back here, 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 and then lumber mill, basically. <sighs> it's either revenge time or this, this is going to clown me two times in a row, but we'll see. You remember when you play without mods, your eyes literally hurt? <laughs> literally. During dusk and night. Oh, okay. Yeah, you really can do that in SR. This is just so fast paced. Alright, get some gas. Fill this top this guy off. Let's go. Oh wow, dude. High gear? Let's go. Oh man, look at that run. Oh my, this is going to be insane, guys. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if I can do this. <sighs> We're going to give it a shot. Should we take a poll? If I finish or not? Oh, look at that hill. Look at that hill. Yikes, dude. All right, here we go. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's about to get real. All stupid up in here. You are absolutely correct. Just throw this down. The wheel spin down a little bit. Let's try to like get myself into a better position here. We can do it. We'll try to. You know, I, I'm thinking. I actually. Yeah. I, I, got, I know what I have to do. I, I can't actually just hit this hill straight up. I, I need to actually move. It's basically going to be like a, almost like a winch fest. Because these rocks are not going to let me advance. They're just not. I'm like pulling the winch, look at this. Something's gonna, come on, give me, come on, something, something's gotta give here. There's a rock stuck on my trailer, you can see it right there. And underneath my chassis. Oh man, the mouse is great. What's up, dirt? welcome in. Yeah, this is this is a no joke climb. <clears throat> I'm surprised though. There we go. It's a good destination. You're back from the US? Nice, dude. How was it? Yeah, I think I think there's just uh, there's just so many stones here. It's just it's making it kind of hard, especially to get myself out of all this stuff. Let's go 
attach winch. Very interesting road trip. <clears throat> Alright, Rob, I appreciate it, man. <clears throat> Thank you for that lurk. I do see the Azov patterns here. Yeah, I do see it. Yep, I absolutely do see it. The Azov patterns are, are definitely alive and well. Okay, so now I need to kind of do some type of... Yikes, dude. Okay, I'm gonna do something. I already see this. I already see the issue at hand here. Yeah, we'll connect there. All I do is lurk. I really... <laughs> nice, man. Good to have you in, Killy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here we go. Okay, now let's go release. Winch. Wait, am I... Did it attach? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, no. Living life on the edge, guys. Wow. Oh. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, I, I know what I have to do here. I know what I have to do. Yep. <laughs> Can I? I can't pack these. No. <laughs> No! Did I just ruin it? No! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's ruined! Okay, I gotta turn around and go get more logs. That's tough, man. That's tough. That's no joke. I mean, I didn't flip over. That's tough. Well, how, what could I have done better? Let me, let me go up here. Let me look how I can do better here. Maybe... Oh, I know. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. We're doing this again. We're doing this exactly again. Oh my goodness! Look how thick this is. I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. <laughs> I got another route, yeah. I got another route. So essentially what's gonna happen is, 
I'll show you. I need to go up farther. And then I cut through those trees. So then I have I have trees on my left and right side. So that's that's kind of like my my move. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Ooh, I could try that. Going right up through here. Climb right up this hill. Actually, no, that would not be fun. Because all the rocks. <laughs> okay, let's go get some... I know, right? We need more duct tape. This is called the failed logging experiment. Take the road like a normal person. You think I could take the road? Only thing is, do I tip over where the, the 131 was? That's my issue. That's my issue. Yo, dirt, thank you for that prime sub. So, dirt, where, where was your road trip at, by the way? You never even tried mods on vanilla maps? Yeah, these trucks are super good, man. I don't see a reason why they have a modded truck. But no eclipse then? Oh, so you went for... Oh, nice. I did flip, District. I flipped the B-131 on the hill where the rocks were. And then I, I literally just... I flipped this truck and the, the, the logs came out of it. So... But I was, I was actually going to make it. <sighs> so we're going to try a different route. made quite a few impressive ex experiences but Yosemite took the cake nice man that sounds awesome I can do it I think we can man I think we can I'm gonna try it I think the route I'm planning on taking here is going to stop me from uh, from listing over too far to like detach or to like un unpack my logs, if that makes sense. I think that last route, it was just, it listed over too much to where it, yeah, it just, the, the logs came unpacked, but I think I was going to make it. Shortcut incoming, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do something a little bit different here. New Eclipse, unfortunately, it's overrated. <laughs> it was overrated. It was it was no, it was a cool experience. It was a cool experience. The Sequoias did it for you. Oh man. I haven't been to Yosemite, honestly. I haven't I need to. I need to. What am I doing? I actually accidentally hit the, the E brake there. If the log's unpacking, then you're probably turning over. Well, I just, I just, un they unpacked just last time. And, and we didn't turn over. Well, I guess, well, no, we were, we were turning over. So yeah, we were going to turn over. So yeah, you are right.
Okay. I'm gonna take my time. This is gonna be a long trip up the mountain. Um, I could probably think I could. Farther back attachment point. I only have three attachment points. The front of the vehicle, the mid of the vehicle, and then the back of the trailer, which is really not, doesn't have any type of uh, side control. That's the, that's the issue. My, my issue at hand is side control. All right, let's go. See, it's uh, literally the same route. No, it's not the same route, guys. I promise it's not the same route. Spin tires, you don't even have a side attachment? Really? What's up, Urku Pokemon? <clears throat> okay, this is going to take a little bit, guys. Not going to lie. Uh, attach. It's alright, Mikonis. We're, we're we're just having fun, man. It's uh we're just we're just trying to have fun. It's alright. Just trying to have fun. This ah uh, no, that'll work. <clears throat> I am yeah. I have the DLCs for it. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I have all the DLCs for it. So yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. There. Let's try that. The doomsayers, man. <clears throat> the naysayers are, are live today. It's alright. No worries, no worries. It's all good. It's all good. I'm okay with it. Yo, Larpup, what's up? Rocks are incoming. Oh, man, look at this. Yeah, this is a heck of a slope, yeah. Okay, release. Let's go attach. Let's go here. Let's go there. Okay, let's go release. Let's go. 
attach side control so here's here's my strat now is i'm going to actually turn myself left here around this tree and then i'm going to just jump down this path that's that's the strat But the only problem is, is I don't have much. Hmm. It's a, it's a good theory. Actually, what I need to do is I actually need to just go straight up. But I don't have any type of further winch point to actually get to except that so or I could do this I could actually do something here Actually, hold up. I know, and I, I got an idea. Idea, idea, idea incoming. Idea incoming. Yep. <clears throat> Here we go. Got the idea. Okay. Go. Patch winch here. Ooh, we just got it. Nice. Yeah. Does feel like I'm asking for it? Oh, I am. I am. We're just trying to have some fun. Yeah, we're just trying to have some fun. Cool. Now, wait. Uh, can I reach that? Oh, yes, that's great. Here we go, baby. Okay, let's try this now. Release. Oh, they went. Oh, they went. They went. release well we tried we tried
It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It was definitely worth a shot. I think what I wanted to do was come up along here, but the thing is I didn't have any side control. Yeah, we didn't have any side control up here. So there was no way for me to like get down this way without me listing over too far. So this was the only cut through and I just couldn't, I couldn't get myself over far enough here. So we tried, we tried. Can you try a log crane? I could, I just haven't done any craning with this yet. Yeah, I just haven't done any craning with it. The crazy thing is, is I do this stuff in SnowRunner all the time and it doesn't, and they don't tip out of the, out like that. I think the angle, the angle of which they tip out is just, maybe it's a little bit more, maybe it's not as forgiving. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's as forgiving as SnowRunner is. I've had, I've had some logs tip over pretty, pretty far. No, I mean with trucks this size. Yeah, I mean with trucks this size. Okay, let's go. There we go. Nice. The route is so technical. It is really technical. Yeah, yeah. We'll just deliver them. We'll just go and deliver them. We tried. We tried, guys. We tried, we failed three times. Yeah, I, I've, I mean, I've, I've logged with trucks the Fleet Star size, so it's not really... Logging isn't really much of a huge deal in SnowRunner for me, but... Yeah, we got it. We, we uh... We tried, we failed, but hey, we had some fun. That was fun. I, I, I enjoyed that challenge. That was, uh, that was cool. I don't think we can take the switchbacks because the rocks or the B131 is. I, I just don't feel this thing is going to crawl over those as, as well. I just don't see it. I feel like I'm going to slide to my right hand side. So, actually, let me get some gas while I'm here. Let's go. Let's go. They are a bit of hit, hit or miss. It was cool, though. We, I'm glad we got some entertainment out of it, so that's good. Uh, stay in there. Thank you. Maybe try the hitch trailers and the switchbacks. Yeah, that's probably a better move. And flood. And damage. And... It does look intense, yeah. It's pretty intense. That, that that little part up there was pretty intense. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Okay, well, here's a... 
This time we'll actually deliver it. All right, SD, good to have you in, man. I appreciate it, everything. As always, good to see ya. Okay, so this time, I'm just gonna take it. We'll take it across here. I don't even know what's 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 up at this slope, but it's probably something. Yeah, and down. Try number three. <laughs> actually, it's try number four. Try number four, actually. One try with the B131. He flipped. This time, this truck two times. The logs came out. Maybe I should have put a crane on. You know what I'm saying? And then just made that made that maneuver. Grab the logs with the crane. And then just been okay. We would have been on our way right now. Yeah, I'm not going to recover the B-131. He's just going to stay where he's at. I don't need him. Uh, can I turn? Get a turn. Stop hitting the gearbox, Nate. Okay, let's go. This is not good. Next steam sail? Honestly, you should. I don't even know if I can get up this slope. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, that's a large winch. One sec, guys. I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Let's see if the transition works here. Man, it's weird. OBS acts so weird with Mudrunner. <clears throat> so weird. Uh, are you going to show up on the actual screen, OBS? Let's see. Okay, we're good. All right. There we go. This is gonna be a tough hill. I can I can just feel it already. What happened recently in America? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> what doesn't happen in America? Actually, guys, you know what? We didn't fail all stream. We did find that really cool shortcut that we actually figured out in the beginning with the 131. Which was pretty cool. So that was, that was cool. There was one success. There was one success. One successful shortcut. Okay, get away from these rocks. Oh, the solar eclipse, yeah, that happened. That was actually in my area. What's up, Mastag? Welcome in. All right, did we make this this map harder on ourselves? Did we did we make this harder than it had to be? Let's go. Here, let's go. All right. All right, one sec, I'll be back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Let's, uh, it's probably gonna take a second for uh, Mudrunner to actually populate on the screen. It just always does that. It's it's very weird. It's not like instantaneous like other other titles when I switch scenes. So yeah, just very odd. But yeah, it'll come up in a second. Hopefully. <laughs> We'll just wait a second here while it comes back up. All right, here we go. Let's go. Onward. much spin way 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 too much spin I gotta say though, man, this truck is actually, it's powerful. Definitely, you definitely can feel it. Look, mushrooms. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I didn't know there's flowers too. Oh, where am I going? Am I going straight? Branching off. I'm just going straight. I gotta say though, man, <clears throat> you definitely cannot get away with risky moves in this game. Yeah, the sounds are really cool. I think I did turn on like the, the different frog sounds, I think, with this mod. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I know that the frogs, there's like different frog sounds you can put. <laughs> I thought it was really weird when I was downloading the mod though, like frog sounds.
I know, I know, right? <laughs> I think you can like choose from like I think three different frog sounds. It's, it's weird. I'm talking about frog sounds right now, but in truth, you can. Frog ASMR. Got the noise canceling headphones on in real life. No. Dang, dude. Nice. Well. All right. Despite massive failure, we tried. And there you go. That is that is downhill. Yeah, we probably could have finished this in like two hours, maybe even less, to be honest, if I didn't take um what three risks three times if i could if i just went up the other way but we had a good time guys i'm, I'm actually really happy with this we had a good time um, progression point is earned by the way let's go to the main menu and see what we got All right, so, so we finished downhill. Oh, the next is Deluge. Yikes, guys, here we go. This is, the next one is going to be rough. This one's probably going to be one of the harder, one of the harder ones I do, actually. My guess, I guess, I, I don't know. And then after that, we'll do the valley, the ridge, rocky hills, and then Grizzly Creek, and then Mount Logmore. <laughs> Mount Logmore. Okay. Dang. Lots more to come. Yeah, I know, right? The island bog got wrecked. Where's the other two? <laughs> Just don't ask. Yeah. Where's the other three sets of sets of logs that that were picked up? They're just donated to the forest. They wanted to go back to their home, their natural residence. And uh that's that's where we sent them. Was to their to their residence. What do those stars indicate? That basically indicates I think the amount of vehicles, because how do I say this? So there's a, a game balance. And basically each truck is assigned a star based upon its performance or what the devs feel that it should be places for like balancing. So like a one star is not that great of a truck, right? Three star is a pretty good truck. And then there's like four and five stars, yeah. Catch and release logs. That's right, Larpup. You got it, man. That's exactly what we did. Let's see what we got here. This has been unlocked. Well, it looks like the K700 is unlocked. So is the D537. And then the E7310 is only one more point to unlock. So, yeah. I think for the next one... For the next one, I actually might use the C260. I'm thinking, I don't know which has more gas, but I'll probably use the C C260 for this. And then, honestly, that's that's probably the only truck I, I think I should use. I don't know. Maybe a Scout? That's, yeah, that's basically it. I don't see it in anything else. So. But yeah. Oh, that's right. This is unlocked. Oh, I could probably use this. I never used this before. The 6317. I never used that. You need some tall boys? Like, this will be a good one, right? Snorkels up here.
Yeah, I think it will do this. I don't think I've used this truck yet. I definitely want to. Yeah, we'll probably do that. We will probably do that. Actually, this one, this one's a pretty good one too. The snorkel's way up here. It's either it's either I use the C th the sixty three seventeen or we use the forty three ten because it has that snorkel way up here. I don't know if they coated it in like that, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But anyways, guys, that is it for today. Next uh, next stop is going to be Deluge, which is going to be probably the hardest one we do, I'm guessing, because of the crossing and such like that. So, yeah, we're going to try to figure it out, get across this uh, massive river type bog area. So once we get across, get things pretty much set up, we'll have a, a, a good idea, but... I would say prepare for some failure because there's probably going to be a lot of it. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out today, watching some of my crazy attempts at, uh, at delivering those logs. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Um, and it was, it was fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern standard time. As always, <laughs> failure is always an option. That's true. Yeah, that is true. But anyways, you guys have a nice day. I will see you guys next time. As always, God bless and stay upright.